welcome back everyone. So my wedding has come and gone old news, but that doesn't mean wedding season is over. If anything, it's just getting really? started. Yes. There's more? There's more. <laughs> so I feel this first story was very appropriate given Jesse Inman's story a few weeks ago about a fast food joint hosting a wedding. A, co a couple got married at White Castle because the bride lived off of White Castle while she was homeless growing up. Very sweet story. Well, now it looks like the Golden Arches want to cash in on people saying, I do. That's right. McDonald's is offering wedding catering packages. Now, the wedding day packages start at $200. It will offer 100 chicken sandwiches, 100 packs of four-piece chicken nuggets, or 400 nuggets. However, there is a catch. It's only being offered in Indonesia at the moment, but it could come to the U.S. depending on... I object. Depending on popularity, we'll make it happen, Jeremy Ray. Their Instagram post here um, translates to translates to English. Let me use my English. McDeers, let's make the wedding moment more memorable with the wedding McD package. Available various other exciting package options with a minimum order of 200 pieces. And I have to say that, ba da ba 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 I'm Here's catering. what I say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I wish they had that here because I don't care about the wedding. I would just get it as like a catering for like the 4th oh, of July. A or a party. Big barbecue, like, hey, I got I know. these right here. Well, so many fast food joints have done it in Los Angeles. In and Out will bring their truck to you. Uh, White Castle obviously right. hosts. Um, well, those are the only two I know. Um, by the way, guess what else? What about Taco Bell? Taco TB, come on. Come on, TB. Um, by the way, I saw a TikTok video on the plane. I'm going to try it this week. Did you know I used to get McDonald's birthday cakes when I was little? That was a treat. Oh, Did I, you ever have I had my birthday at McDonald's, so See, probably had yes. their cake. Well, this man says that you can go through the drive-thru and order a McDonald's cake, and it's $9. And he did it on TikTok. What? He went through the drive-thru. It's their secret menu. Okay, I'm how old is I'm this cake, it. though? How old is the cake? We should I don't do, know. We should do a taste test. What we I'm saying is... We should get the cake and bring it in. We taste I'm going to go video myself going through the drive-thru, and I'm going to try to order a McDonald's cake and see okay. if it happens. I'll bring it to the show. Okay. Where, are you in? I'm in. Okay. I was like, I could follow you too. Well, and try why don't you go with me? You can film it. Okay, go perfect. Okay. Let's let's do that. Okay, moving on. Um, all you Swifties, Twilight fans out there. I'll I, be back, Maddie. Yeah, I know. He's, <laughs> he's, out. he's already out. I knew this. Well, I'm not either. But uh, this weekend at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Taylor Swift brought out a surprise guest. Any guesses? During her Friday night eras tour show, it was none other than her ex-boyfriend and Twilight heartthrob, Taylor Lautner. Take a look. For the energy, um, <laughs> we, we had so much fun making this video. Uh, Taylor, thank you for having me and all of us. Um, I just want to say one thing quick. I respect you so much. Not Not for the singer you are, the songwriter, the performer, but truly for the human you are. So, ta Taylor's ex, Taylor, continued to gush over her, saying, quote, you are gracious, you are humble, you are kind, and I'm honored to know you. And the reason for his surprise appearance was to debut the new music video for I Can See You, one of the songs from The Vault of her Speak Now Taylor's version. So we'll have to ask angry producer Charlie his feelings about this because he went Saturday night. However, Daybreak producer Blake went on Friday. Oh, he's lucky then. I would love to get his input on this. If I don't know where he is. When I, I saw know, that, I, ask him. I was like, Charlie's going to be so upset. I know. And also, Jeremy took out his IFB. I don't know if you guys could hear us talking. I took this whole earpiece the out. The screaming is too much for me. Too much. The crazy thing is, Taylor Swift dated Taylor Lautner. Mm -hmm. Taylor Lautner and Taylor Swift broke up. Taylor Lautner marries a girl named Taylor. It's oh, a whole really? Taylor triangle. He's married? I didn't even know that. He's married to a woman named Taylor. Okay, wait then. Can I ask this? <laughs> They're both Taylor Lautner. Did Taylor Swift <laughs> ever write a breakup song about Taylor Lautner? That is a good question. It's rumored. It, yeah, it's rumored. Because remember they were in um, that Valentine's Day movie. Anyways, this final story, some great news. Jamie Foxx is alive and well and walking Following his unexpected and terrifying hospitalization back in April, he was hospitalized for a medical complication. That's still unknown, but he's been in intense uh, rehab in Chicago. And on Sunday, the comedian was spotted cruising along on a megaboat. 
on the Chicago River. This is the first time Jamie Foxx has been seen out in public since April. And according to TMZ, he was looking pretty vibrant, waving to fans, and even threw up a peace sign. So, yay for Jamie Foxx. Was it really him or was it a stunt double? Well, we'll see what TMZ I'm just saying, I'm all the conspiracy up. theories because that Britney story you did Friday, yeah. they were saying, oh, there's different Britney Spears lookalikes throwing people off doing yeah. stuff. I'm just saying, Maddie. Uh, but I'm hoping it's the real Jamie Foxx because I love him and... I hope he's okay. There's I so many okay. conspiracy theories on TikTok. That's crazy. We won't even get down that rabbit hole. But that is your What the Hollywood. Uh, what I was going to say to you, let's go back to Taylor for a second. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because um, the, the risk you run with dating... Taylor Swift is getting that horrible breakup song. Yeah. And then I had seen that Taylor, when she re-released this new one, said, fans, please don't go after John Mayer. John, because, oh yeah, because they keep harping on John yes. Mayer. That well, was I guess one of the so songs on Speak, Dear John, it's Dear about John. John Mayer or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And so she's like, listen, I'm re-releasing this because I'm re-recording it. Please don't go after him again, which I they respect. They did, they did. But that's the whole thing is like, you've got to move on. I know. Taylor's moved on. Taylor's moved on, so why are the fans not moving with her? And my thing is, um, what about Joe Alwyn? It's supposed to be an amicable breakup. And then what about that Matt Healy guy or uh, the 1975 right. guy? That was kind of weird. Is, are there going to be, is she over that era of like talking about her exes via song? Well, is it more like this intrinsical, like, oh, I've grown into this woman? She, well, she's 33. It's time to grow up, first of all. Look at me. I'm getting on my soapbox. I don't want to grow up. Uh, I don't uh, want to. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but. She did change the lyrics of one of her songs from the album because I guess it was demeaning towards women and she changed it. Yeah. Which I saw that. What, I don't listen to the song, so I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. But I'm we'll, we'll get more T Swift news, more than we both probably want. And I just had to throw that in there because we had so many yeah. people that went this weekend. So. Well, I know. In the off, in the. Was building. your feed blowing up this weekend with. <sighs> yes. <laughs> and I just swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. All right. All okay. right. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, we're heading to Silver Dollar City, checking out an amazing show there for the summertime. We'll be back. <laughs>